Happy Saturday, everybody. I am super excited to be here with you today. So as you join, please say hello, comment below. Let me know where you're watching from. I would love to connect with you after the live is over. So today I wanna to share with you three scenes that you want to eliminate from your pantry and your fridge because your body will absolutely thank you for it. If you wanna learn more, type one in the comments. Hi, my name is Adrienne Geiser. I'm an international yoga teacher, wellness coach, and intuitive healer. I'm also the founder and creator of Inner Beauty Wellness and Enlightened Alchemy, helping women improve their health, feel more confident, and achieve long-lasting transformations in all aspects of their life. So if you're ready to learn more about these three things that you need to eliminate from your fridge and pantry your, that your body will thank you for, type one in the comments. So are you ready? Tip number one or item number one that you need to eliminate from your pantry and, and, and fridge and diet overall is corn syrup. Why is that? Corn syrup you're gonna find anywhere in a lot of stuff. So you want to eliminate it because it's something chemical that your body doesn't understand how to assimilate it or what to do with it. It speaks a whole different language. So your body automatically is gonna store it as fat on your belly, on your thighs, on your butt. So might as well start pouring some fat on your hips, thighs, and belly because corn syrup is horrible. And read the labels because you're gonna find it in a lot of stuff that you least expect it. So corn syrup, please eliminate from anything that's on your pantry right now, throw it away. Tip number two, all that is fat free. Please eliminate all the fat free stuff. Why? Because your body needs healthy fats to for a healthy living, right? However, these fat free stuff are loaded with sugar because they need to figure out ways to make it taste good. So anything that's fat free is actually gonna make you gain more weight. It's actually gonna make you hungry. It's gonna have tons of sugar that's gonna give you those highs and lows of fat free dressings, fat free potato chips are the worst. It's better that you go and eat the full stuff, the regular potato chips for your health, than the fat-free stuff. So that's item number two. Item number three, this one is crazy, you won't realize, but all these yogurts that are being sold to great for children or the specific specific brands that may, may want to have flavor and stuff to it. So yogurts that have more than 20 grams of sugar, please eliminate. Yogurts that come with all this syrupy um, fruit and stuff added to it, throw away. Unless you are making your own yogurt and you're buying yogurt for like probiotics benefit, please, all these other yogurts that say, you know, flavor and, and creamy and smooth or whatever, but are loaded with sugar, are no good for you. It's better to buy Greek yogurt, so maybe flavored yogurt, but make sure they don't have these additional sugars and additional stuff that do know that, that actually are worse for you. Again, corn syrup, number one. Number two, all the fat-free stuff are not good for you. Uh, and yogurts that are loaded with sugar. Why? What all these things have in common? All this additional sugar that will, the more you eat sugar, the more you're gonna crave it, right? But also it's gonna give you a boost of energy and then you crash. And also it's empty calories. So the more you eat these items, the more you feel, actually your body doesn't realize it, it messes up with some hormones that tells you A, that you're hungry and B, that you're full. So your body thinks it's constantly hungry and those and know when you're full. So you're gonna be having more and more and more, which is gonna lead to a whole bunch of imbalances, physically, mentally, and emotionally. So if this resonates with you, if this makes sense to you, type two in the comments. And if you know of anybody that can benefit from this, um, from this uh, life, that you, you probably you're like, oh, this person, it's all about the fat free, this is a person that eats a lot of junk or whatever, please, tag them in the in the life or share the life with them. If you want a simple, easy way to start your morning in a healthy way, I have 
a, a five-day free smoothie challenge, all you have to do is just add one green smoothie to your diet. I will provide you with easy to follow recipes to make so you can start having more energy, have more stamina, mental clarity, improve your digestion, digestion reduce inflammation. So I have specific recipes that I'm going to share with you to help you sustain or manage your weight, to help you reduce inflammation, to give you more energy or a post-workout uh, smoothie and so much more. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have a beautiful, fantastic Saturday. Please comment below if this again resonated with you with that number two. If comment below if you know someone that can benefit from the five smoothie challenge and if you're interested in the five smoothie five day smoothie challenge type uh, smoothie in the comments and I'll send you the link. Thank you guys. Have a beautiful Saturday. Namaste. Bye.